The louse who snatched Adam is Adam? This is a joke, right? You're not laughing. I wish I were. What, you're telling me that Adam engineered his own kidnapping? It's more than a theory. It's outrageous is what it is. Not really. Not really. Adam has been known to hatch some Machiavellian plots in his time. And the more I think about it, the more it makes sense to me and the more convinced I am that Adam kidnapped himself. You know, I thought that you would have gotten past this by now. Really, but here you are. Adam passion, 101. I'll lighten up, Haley. I'll lighten up when she backs off. What was, what was this concerned friend routine when Adam was missing? Was it an act? I thought it was real. It, it was, Haley. Real. It was, absolutely. I used every resource I had at Temple. I racked my brain in order to try and come up with some idea about this kidnapper because I wanted to help Adam. Oh, well, the definition of help does not include accusing people of committing crimes against them. I wasn't no. accusing anybody of anything, all right? I was thinking out loud. I was trying to figure out the kidnapping and figure out exactly what happened. We know what happened. My father was receiving threatening, anonymous letters All right, and... all right. Just stop right there. Adam's life was threatened. He didn't want to bring the police in. He didn't want a guard outside. He didn't even want to add any extra security of his own. Why? Adam said getting the police involved would attract too much attention. Negative publicity would be bad for business. Yeah, why don't you try living in a fishbowl when the media shark starts circling? Well, all I know is if I, my life was threatened, I would feel more comfortable if there were more people around me. But, uh, let's, let's table that part of it, all right? What about Adam's account of the night he was quote-unquote kidnapped? He heard a noise on the terrace, so he went to check it out. Right, and how reckless is that? When you know that somebody is out there to get you. I mean, Charlie was here. Why didn't he wake him up? Why didn't he call his own security to back him up? Because it was late, and he wasn't thinking clearly. Not I don't about know the fact really that bad. Adam doesn't remember anything, not one thing about the kidnapping. Because he was doped up. No, he wasn't. Joe Martin didn't find a trace of drugs in Adam's system. There weren't any, any marks, there were no cuts, there were no bruises, no sign of a struggle. I mean, didn't the kidnapper tie him up? Wouldn't he have handcuffed him? I mean, how did Adam get away? I would assume the kidnapper had a gun. So did he fall asleep? Did Adam just untie himself and walk out the door? I mean, how did he get back here? Did he get to ride? Did he walk? How should I know? I wasn't there. All I know is my father is home now. And he is safe. Okay, right. Adam is home. He survived possible death. Why is he not rounding up a posse, going out to get this guy and make sure that they put him away? But because he wants to forget this whole nightmare ever happened. He wants to get on with his life. Oh, let bygones be bygones? Does that sound like the Adam Chandler that we know? I think our Adam would be rounding up a posse himself and going after this guy. He wouldn't rest until this guy was strung up by, by his thumbs, unless... Yeah. Unless there is nobody out there, and the kidnapper is upstairs with his wife. Uh, this is way too surreal. Look at this objectively. Oh, and how do I do that, Charlie? Try not to think of Adam as your dad. Hmm, okay. Look, all the puzzle pieces may not fit together right now. But remember this. Remember this. I was dancing with my father when Gloria got that crazy phone call. Yeah, well, that just proves that Adam has a partner in crime or some, some high-tech equipment. <sighs> Why? Why would he want to kidnap himself? Well, I can think of one reason. To test Gloria. came to see me right after he and Gloria got back together. And he admitted to me that he didn't think that he and Gloria had a shot unless he could be sure that she would be loyal to him, that, that this thing with Alec was over and done with. 
I hope you told him to take a flying leap. I told him he would have to take Gloria back on faith. But Adam being Adam, he had other ideas. What kind of ideas? He admitted out loud that he, he would like... He would like to test Gloria. To prove that she really did love him. And that she would, you know, be faithful to him no matter what. Okay, well, forgive me, but I flunked pretzel logic. Um, how would Adam staging his own kidnapping test Gloria? Who did your father consider his greatest threat? Does the name Alec McIntyre ring a bell? Right. So, with Adam out of the picture, Alec and Gloria are thrown together. Gloria is afraid, she's vulnerable, Adam is not in the picture, and with a little prompting, Alec is in position to make a play for her. And there's the test. The only question is, will Gloria fall for Alex, or will she resist temptation? Now, how is it that my father's supposed to keep an eye on Gloria and Alex if he's nowhere to be seen? Why do you think Stuart was so adamant that they give the ransom money without even having any proof at all that Adam was alive? Why, why did he insist that Gloria go to Alex for the ransom money? And why, why was the ransom note so insisted that Gloria go to that cabin alone with Alec? Uncle Stewart explained all of this. Uh-uh. Not Stewart. Adam. What? Stewart did not come home early from his rafting trip. Why didn't I see this before? See what? See what before? Are, are you trying to say that you think my Uncle Stuart is in cahoots with my father? Haley, it wasn't Stuart running interference for Adam. It was Adam. I mean, Adam does Stuart better than Stuart does. Why go to all that trouble? To catch Alec and Gloria in the act. Wouldn't it have been just a little bit simpler for Adam to just leave town, hire a private investigator to follow Gloria, and then just report back to him? Simple is not Adam's M.O. I mean, where's the sport in that? You set up a test and then you're not around, around to watch the uh, drama unfold? Yeah, plus the kidnapping scheme was a foolproof way of getting Alec into the act. How? Adam made sure that Alec was a prime suspect. That kept McIntyre on the front burner in constant contact with Gloria. Familiarity sometimes leads to strange bedfellows. Oh, please, you are just as bad as Brooke. My father may be a lot of things, but that twisted, he ain't. What about Stuart? Is he twisted? There is not a crooked bone in Uncle Stewart's body. Yeah, so explain all the bizarre things that he said and did when Adam was missing. He was upset. No, Haley, it was more than nerves. I mean, Stewart's character was, was so out of whack. You know what I thought for a short while? I thought he was the one that kidnapped Adam. My Uncle Stewart wouldn't take a free toothpick. Right. You know what Stewart told me when I asked him why he was so agitated? He said that he still hadn't gotten over his feelings for Gloria and that it was becoming a losing battle hiding those feelings. He said that? Oh, yeah. That's what he said. And then he said rather than risk showing his true feelings, he thought he should leave town. So he, would, he went to pick up Scott. <sighs> Look, okay. My Uncle Stuart loves Gloria. Yes. Yes. Okay, but he's not in love with her. He, he's gotten over that. That was a long time ago. Right. Right. It wasn't Stuart who gave me that lame excuse. It was Adam pretending to be Stuart so that he would have some excuse why he was leaving town all of a sudden. The night Stuart showed up at the ski lodge. Look, Adam wouldn't do something that vicious. That is too cruel. I mean, okay, yes, I, I've seen my father do some pretty vile things, but, you know, Gloria and me, we're his family. And that's my father you're talking about. Should my ears be burning? Haley, you sound a little upset. Yes. What's wrong? <clears throat> now you're right, I'm upset. I just... I just want to go after those kidnappers and make sure they collect their social security checks care of Plattsville State <sighs> Prison. And no doubt Brooke and Charlie were making a case for leniency. They were just trying to talk me out of 
you know, doing my own little investigation, they think that I should let Derek and the feds handle everything. Sounds like a rock group. <laughs> but I happen to agree. You've been through enough, darling. You want, you want justice for your old man? Then you forget all about this and go on with your life. Will you do that for me? I'll try. Good girl. Now, you'll have to excuse me because uh, my wife is upstairs <laughs> dying for a midnight snack. Well, you better not keep her waiting. I mean, after all that she's been through, if you're gone too long, she might freak out. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, nothing, um, a little warm milk and a good night's sleep won't be. Well, then a good night to all. <laughs> There's one happy man. Really, he acts like he has a 99-year lease on life. Any resemblance between Adam and a man who's been allegedly kidnapped, bound and gagged, drugged, terrorized... ...is pure horse feather. Deep six, the sledgehammer. I get the point. Look, what do you want from the man? You want him to crawl into the fetal position and suck his thumb? That's not Adam. Maybe not, but, I mean, you gotta think that there's something to Brooks' theory, otherwise you would have clued Adam in on our discussion. Really, you didn't say anything to him. Why not? My father has a very bad temper. He would have thrown you both out on your rears. Is that the only reason? Look, I don't... I didn't want to upset my father. He's been through enough. And your conspiracy theory is enough to make anyone's flesh crawl. Haley, it's more than a theory. Look, you were here when Adam escaped, and he stumbled through those doors, and, and he was dazed and confused. Now, if that was acting... I'd you know. give the Academy Award to Stuart. Stuart? Afraid so. <laughs> Adam pretending to be Stuart. Stuart pretending to be Adam. Oh, boy, I had my doubts before, but now I'm convinced. You've both lost your mind. been drinking out of the same weird water supply? First, you think that Alec kidnapped my father. Then you think Stuart did it. And now you get together and you decide that it was a co-conspiracy between Adam and Stuart? Well, uh, that is totally Looney Tunes. Haley, I know. Just give us a few more minutes so you can hear the rest of the evidence. What evidence, Brooke? You don't have any evidence. You have a suspicious mind is what you have. Look, I know there are still some blanks to fill in. I have not figured out the logistics of this whole thing, but I know in my gut that Adam masterminded this whole thing. Oh, okay. Well, you said that Adam was pretending to be Stuart and vice versa, right? Well, who is up in bed with Gloria right now? I am now? not sure when they switched places, but I am pretty certain that it was Stuart who stumbled in here and said that he had escaped from the kidnapper. They probably made the switch at the hospital. Stuart was with Adam long enough to change clothes. Right. But not before Joe Martin examined him, which would explain his comment about Adam's blood pressure. It was low. It was unusually low for Adam, which is rather telling unless you want to say that, you know, a bona fide kidnapping is a new source of, you know, reducing stress. I'm sorry, I don't believe you. I can't. My father would never do something like that to me. Haley, look, sweetheart, this is not undiscovered territory, okay? You've been all over the map with Adam. You know what he's capable of. He's my father, Charlie, and he loves me, and he loves Gloria. There was blood in his car. We got threatening notes, and we got threatening phone calls that had us paralyzed with fear. My father was missing for days. Charlie, I thought he was dead. I almost crawled inside of a vodka bottle and stayed there. Now, do you really think that my father would torture me endlessly and needlessly for some stupid little test? Oh. Well, I guess that's my answer. Thank you. Haley. I don't want to hear one single solitary word. Tell me I'm crazy.
completely. You no, know, if you're crazy, that makes two of us. Adam staging his own kidnapping? I mean, no wonder Haley can't believe it. I can hardly believe it myself. You know, well, you made a convert out of me. Yeah? So what are we going to do now? I was hoping you wouldn't ask that question. Well, listen, we can't forget it. And we can't just go hurling accusations at Adam. There's much too much at stake here. We need proof. Let's get it. Thank you.